Time now for Big Pond Sport email, and you can see the question there from Greg Jones. Wants to know how many Ks you get out of a V8 race engine and just exactly how are those engines serviced? Mark Larkham's the man with all the answers. Here we are today in KRE race engines who are responsible for looking after engine programs of four teams that run in V8 supercars. Now what I want to talk today about is engine servicing. We've talked plenty about engine building and we know that can cost 120,000 bucks per unit. Now engine servicing is a little different. You get about 3,000 kilometres out of your unit in between services, serious services, and that'll cost you up to $15,000. Right, so the first thing is the trucks will back up here and unload in these beautiful transport cases. So once an engine's unpacked, straight down here to the back of the shop to what is the engine disassembly room. Looks pretty slick just for disassembly area. And then all the key components taken outside into what is in fact a slick cleaning area where everything is washed up, pristine clean, ready to be worked on. First cab off the rank, it comes down here to the Sunnan vertical honing machine. Now there's a couple of things happen. First of all, we would have honed or cleaned up our lifter bores, these brass items here. But what we're doing here, very sophisticated piece of equipment, is very accurately honing or putting some nice scratch marks in the bore so the piston rings, the fresh piston rings, mate very nicely to the bore to create that compression that we're looking for. Doesn't look sophisticated, but let me tell you, very much is. Now, cylinder heads. The very first thing we do with them is put them on this machine here, which is a cylinder head facing machine, which makes sure that cylinder head to cylinder block face is absolutely flat and maintains that all important 10 to 1 compression ratio. From there over onto another sophisticated bit of machinery, here's a cylinder head on here, this is a seat cutting machine. And what this does, if I can just sneak around here behind you, here's a valve. This is the seat of a valve, this part around its edge. And it is so critical for high performance that is fine and narrow and accurate and seats beautifully in and out of there. Okay? Those two mating faces. Absolutely critical. Now, just on that, these are our set of valves, inlet and exhaust valves. They'll go about 6,000 kilometres if you don't have any dramas. Valve springs, however, will replace them at every service. Every 3,000 K, a full set of those. So that all happens. Now, around here, we've got a valve cutting machine. So we just saw how it works on the cylinder head. This machine cuts the valves. I mean, there's so much machinery here, it's unbelievable. Round here, remembering if we replace our pistons, because we've been running them lean, we then need to rebalance our crankshaft. So over here, we've got a crankshaft balancing machine. So now, once all that's done, we need to think about assembly, reassembling the engine. So let's go and have a look at the reassembly room. The block, fresh, prepared, honed, ready to go, is wheeled in here on a nice stand. New bearings. Okay, cylinder head, we didn't say before, rockers, they're gone, every 3,000 kilometres, the lifters, every 6,000 kilometres are gone. Conrads, they'll be crack, chest, crack tested, new bearings go in, pistons replaced as needed as said, new piston rings every time the engine comes apart, the camshaft is checked and replaced as necessary, crankshaft obviously always tested, always crank tested, but you do get good mileage out of those, water pump disassembled and checked. Oil pump disassembled and checked. New gasket seals right through the engine before it's buttoned up for its final trip down the hallway with these beautiful components, feel like they weigh nothing, handmade rocker covers and this beautiful handmade sump. Made on a mill, absolutely stunning. And off down to the dyno cell. So every single engine, when it's finished assembled, is brought down here into the dyno cell, put on the dynamometer, which is in a condition the same as which it would be installed in the car. Its fuel economy is checked. The thing is run in. Its power performance, any development is checked. And so this is critical before it gets wrapped up, put in the truck or in the car for the next event. But most important of all, let's hear it sing. Pull that string, Kenny.